Hello and welcome to the northeast of England. We're here at St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Newcastle United facing Brighton and Hove Albion. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Promising sequence. And let's give credit to the defending. In possession, Caicedo. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, over the years, he scored so many goals. It's his ability to come short and then... Oh, spin big in... chance here! Magnificent defending. Pascal Gross. Gross. In position here to protect the ball. In possession, Caicedo. Excellent challenge. Almiron. Fabian Scher. Chris Wood. It's with Joel Linton. Good movement. But they took care of the situation defensively. Caicedo with it. Pascal Gross. Well back. Now with Gross. And after the cross, defensive action called for. Joel Linton. Sam Maxima has it. Wood. And possibilities here. And a fine tackle. Alexis McAllister. McAllister. Now well, they've given him too much space. But nothing comes of it. And winning it back. Well back. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Chris Wood. Newcastle moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And a textbook interception. In possession, Caicedo. Enoch Mwepu. That strong play here on the shielding front. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, he was one of their better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Sam Aximan.
Caicedo with it. Well, possibilities in the centre. And a goal kick will be next. Getting the ball forward. Has the strength to hang on to it. Well, they get the ball once more. Joel Linton. Target with it. Sam Aximan. It's with Joel Linton. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And pull back. Can they forge ahead? Could be. And there it is. 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Well, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Dunk. Here's Gross. Alexis McAllister. Pascal Gross. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Can he play it in? They couldn't maintain possession. Well, there you can see Newcastle haven't been able to control possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. What a shocking pass, really. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. All hands on deck. Could play it in. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Well, the second half drawing to a close, and it's going Newcastle's way, Stuart. Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been a really tight game, hasn't it? Chances at a premium, and you have to praise their defending in that regard. Oh, Stuart, a chance! Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Now Caicedo. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Miguel Almiron. Well, keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Substitution time it is here. Pascal Gross. And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Well, Newcastle have played really well today, but they've also had great backing from these fans. Just listen to the noise. Well, it's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. Fabian Scher. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Shelby. Longstaff. Wonderfully weighted pass.
The cross is on. Almiron. Shelby. Wood. And there goes the final whistle and the final outcome, a victory for the Magpies. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.